What up you two? We're back with another video. This is going to be about MEPS and a few tips on how to get through MEPS. MEPS is a long day. Can't beat that. It's going to be a long day. So before you get to MEPS, your recruiter is going to take you to the hotel where you're going to be staying overnight. Once you get to the hotel, you check in, you get a briefing, and they'll tell you what time is curfew and what time you got to be up and be downstairs for breakfast in the morning, you know, and get ready to go over to the processing station. Once you get to the processing station, you will get your folder with all your documents and all your information, and then they'll send you down to medical to start your screening process. Once you get to medical, they'll give you a briefing, and you're also gonna have to fill out another set of paperwork, which is gonna be the same information you go over with your recruiter, so try to make sure it's consistent. Once that's done, they have you take your breathalyzer test, and you have to get your blood pressure checked, and you have to get your blood drawn, and you have to pee in a cup, then you have to get your vision exam, and then you have to get your ears checked. You do the ear exam, they lock you in this boot and give you headphones and give you this little clicker that you have to click each time you hear that beep. So try to listen carefully. Once that's all done, you go to see the doctor where you get your physical. This is where, you know, the guy tell you to drop your pants and bend over and spread them, you know, where you put, you know, gotta put your nuts in his hands and he's gonna tell you to cough and you know, he's going to poke you around a little bit. This usual physical stuff that you'll get, you know, when you go to your doctor. Once that's done, then you go to where you do the physical exam, where, you know, you do all the movements with your hands and your fingers and drop to your knees, try to roll back up, and you have to do duck walk. If you don't know what the duck walk is, there's a lot of duck walk videos on YouTube, so go check that out. So a few tips that I want to share about MEPS that I saw a few people got disqualified for a few things. One, when you go to get your ears checked, before you get to MEPS, before you even get to the hotel, start cleaning your ears. Start cleaning your ears. I've seen a lot of people who got disqualified because they couldn't hear, they couldn't hear shit. So start cleaning your ears and they put that in your record. So you probably want to get your ears clean before you go to MEF, so try to clean your ears. Uh, another thing I saw someone got disqualified for was too much protein in their pee. Now, my recruiter told me this before, like two days before I got to MEPS. Pretty much, my recruiter says, hey, do not have sex the night before you go to MEPS, or do not jack off in the bathroom at the hotel while you're taking a shower before you go to MEPS the next morning. Because when you pee in the cup, you're gonna have too much protein in your pee and that's a red flag, that's a no-no. You're gonna have to go home and you're gonna have to come back the next day and pee again. And that's just gonna delay your process. So keep that in mind. So MEPS is also where you swear in, MEPS is where you pick your job and all that other little stuff. So for me, once I was finished with my medical, you know, they gave me my folder back and say, hey, you know, you're good to go, you've passed your medical, go ahead and see your liaison. So I went back to the liaison office, sat with the liaison for like five minutes, and he sent me over to another lady where they went over my, you know, personal information, you know, how many dependents, you know, your mom's name, dad's name, social security, emergency contact number, all those little stuff just to make sure they have everything, you know, in writing and in detail. Once I was done with that lady, I went over to do my fingerprint. This is where they you know, they take all my fingerprints and that took about two minutes. Once that was done, that's when I sat with the, li with the liaison and picked my job. They explained my contract to me, how long my contract was going to be, um, how long my basic training was going to be, how long AIT, AIT was going to be, where I'm going to be going to basic training and where I'm going to be going to AIT. Once I was done, I was sent back to the lounge where I sit for like two hours waiting to swear in. Once we were called to swear in, then we went, you know, in the little chapel thing and you, know, you raise your hand and you know you repeat after whoever it is, you swear in, and then you get to sign your contract. You know, they sit you down and you gotta do your fingerprint. But every MEPS is different, so my process might be a little bit different from your process, but just know most of the stuff is the same. You know, it might be in different order. You know, you might do something a little bit extra. So other than that, MEPS is really a long day. Um, there's a lot of sit around and there's a lot of waiting. So while you're there, you know, try to interact with, you know, the other recruits. 
Try not to talk too much, but just try to make some friends while you're there. MEPS is a long day. There's a lot of stuff they have, they have to get accomplished, and that's MEPS for you. So if you like, like this video, subscribe. I'll be back again with more videos for you. Stop walking me, eyes for me